In this tutorial, we'll continue looking at the particle systems, and one way that you might use it to kind of fake the particle system out, or at least fake the view out, because notice in here I have this same particle system from the previous video, and I'm running in here. This time I just added a collision detection to the plane. So let me just scale this up a little bit, like this, so you can see it a little bit better. But if you look closely, you'll see that the particles all bounce back up to the same height. All right, so it's not going to give you a realistic effect as far as, you know, maybe an object that bounces. And then you can't make like a, something that kind of falls off like, a, like maybe this wave that attenuates like that. But what you can do if you're looking for something like that or whatever, I'm just giving you some kind of tidbits that might kind of help you out if you're modeling something else, is you can take this plane like this. And let's just make a copy of the plane first. All right, let's see, shift E, and I'm just going to move it up out of the way, like that. All right, and I'll make it. I'll make it its own. I'll make it its own user plane. All right, so this one's down here now. For this one, let's go into edit mode, and we'll just subdivide this guy up just a few times. That way, we can make a nice surface out of it. And then I'm going to come around and use, I'm going to grab the edges like this here. And then I'm going to make sure I'm in proportional editing. And I'll give it, say, a, where am I, a smooth, oh, well, smooth is good enough for fall off. And then I'm going to, just going to move this down using the proportional editing and kind of make a surface that, let's see, G, Z. I'm going to move it down. Now I want my radius of influence to be a little bit bigger than that. Let's see. All right, so I'm basically creating this uh, curved surface in here. You can see it like this. All right, but you'll notice what's happening with particles. They're still bouncing off of this plane up here. Yeah, it's like, how can that be? Well, so, so it appears, but that's what we're going to make it look like in, in that sense. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to et leave edit mode, and now they'll actually bounce down here, and it's going to give the appearance that they're actually falling off now from here, which they do, because they're having a further distance to go like that. But And we're, gonna, we're kind of faking the gravity. Then we're going to take this plane back into the scene like this, and we're just going to move it down. And we're just going to place it back over the surface here where it was originally. But in this case, we're going to turn off collision. All right, and so now what your viewer sees, we'll just scale this out a little bit. Now you have particles that are actually bouncing off and kind of falling out like this and then bouncing back through from the other side because they're bouncing you see they're coming they're still coming back up because they're bouncing back up here and back up through the the plane like that so it's it's an illusion you know but sometimes it's something you need to do and uh, every little bit helps when you're building a scene okay well that's it for now and I'll see you in the next tutorial